Okay, here's a quick little demonstration on how to add a product to the Golf NW store. First, we'll want to make sure that we've already got our image formatted and um, all our text written. So I'm just working off a Word file over here and I already have my image formatted and ready to go. First, we're going to add a product. So we'll click products from the cart 66 over here. I'm just going to give it an item number 107 to keep in order. We already have these products in stock. So item number is 107. I'm going to call this the Classic Golf Club Single. You can name it whatever you'd like. Price is $35. It's not taxed, we're not going to ship it, and we will hit save. Next, we need to go to inventory. You'll see it has been added to our inventory list, but it doesn't know how many are in stock, which we have six, and we need to check it if we want inventory tracking to be in effect. So that is checked, I've hit save. Okay, that's all we have to do for adding the product to the cart system. Now we need to go to posts, click posts so we can add um, the description and whatnot. So we'll click add new. I'm going to copy and paste again from my Word document. Name it Classic Golf Club. I'm going to use a bulleted list. Classic Golf Club, valid anytime. Don't have any other details. Turn off the bolted list. Now I just click the green Cart 66 button and we're going to find Classic Golf Club. Click Insert. This will make the button show up to add to cart. Put it in the for sale category over here. We're going to hit set featured image. We're going to grab it from our computer. Click select file. It uploads. Remember that's our image we've already pre-formatted to 280 wide by 150 high. Click down here after it's uploaded use as featured image. You'll see it kind of popped up over here. Close this pop-up window. Hit Publish. Now I already have the home page loaded. You'll see right now Whispering Furs is the first thing you see. When I hit Refresh, the most recent one will show up, which is now Classic Golf Club. Simply add to cart. The user is taken to the cart. You can see I've already done some other testing. can remove that one by hitting the trash can. Remove that one. We're simply, let's, uh, let's add two of these. And uh, we can go to, you can see it updated to 70. Hit check out. And gives our final totals. So we hit PayPal here and we will be taken to the PayPal checkout. Once this transaction is complete they'll be taken back to a thank you page and the products will be removed from inventory.